What's up, guys? Today, I'll be talking about how I never missed a single question on the math section of the SAT ever in the three times I took it and how you can do the same. So this will be quite a short video, but the first step you should always do, first step, is to learn the theory or the fundamentals behind the digital SAT math section. So this step is really important because it tests your basic foundational knowledge of math. And I would suggest all of you guys to start paying attention in your math classes at school because that can really help with the SAT math since it's based on math at the middle school level at school. So in general, you should really master the fundamentals like algebra, like geometry, and like other basic subjects like that in order to get better at the digital SAT math section. In general, you want to master all these basic knowledge and you can do this through a um, digital steep textbook, or I would recommend going to Khan Academy and looking at its digital SAT math section prep place, and they should walk you through like all the concepts you need to know and just practice it there. The second step is to do a lot and a lot of digital SAT math questions to familiarize yourself with the type of content and questions they ask on a math section of the digital SAT. So that's pretty important as well. And finally, the third step is to actually take a digital SAT math test and mock it and see how you do and benchmark that and see which questions you missed and where you can improve. So those are my three basic steps on how to get a perfect score or not miss a single question on the digital SAT, especially, uh, specifically the math section of the digital SAT. Because I want to say a couple comments on the math section of the digital SAT. First of all, this section is the easiest section to improve on out of all three sections. The reading section is insanely hard to improve on. The writing section is okay to improve on. And the math section is extremely easy to improve on. So as long as you put in the effort, you will definitely see a huge score increase. Unfortunately for my situation, I never really had an issue with the math section. So I had to focus on the reading and writing sections, which are incredibly hard to improve on, especially the reading section. So that's one tip. Another thing is that there are actually two sections for the digital SAT math section. I mean, I think you do the first part and you unlock the second part or something like that. But this is a new type of format for 2024, so I'm not too familiar with it. So you should probably look this up and try to familiarize yourself with the content and, and the, the format of the math section of the digital SAT. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much and see you guys next time.